Hey everyone, welcome to my latest video. Today's focus is going to be on gymnastics and we're going to be looking at static balance. So make sure you've got a little bit of space around you. A carpet is great just in case you fall over. And uh, have a drink handy because you might need it. What we're going to do is we're going to start off with a warm up. We're then going to do some balance work. We're then going to strengthen our legs, helping our balance as well. And then finish with some stretching. So I hope you enjoy it. Get your space ready and we get straight on with it. In 30 seconds, running on the spot. Nice light start. Make sure you're on your toes. Get those arms going as well. 15 seconds gone. Just so keep nice and light those toes. Speed up a little bit if you like. Make sure you keep those arms going, keep your arms moving, keep your feet moving. Five seconds. And hold that. Okay, high knees, 30 seconds. So keep your hands up if you like, or use your arms. Make sure you're on your toes. Keep breathing. A few more seconds. Five more seconds now. Keep on those toes. Good. Heel flicks this time. So kick in your bottom. Make sure you're on your toes still. Halfway there. Try and kick your bottom each time. Good. Star jumps this time. 30 seconds again. Ready? Go. Keep going in and out. Hands at the same time. Make sure you keep your arms quite straight, not fully straight. We don't want them down here though. Keep on your toes as always. Don't want to be flat footed doing this. 10 more seconds now. Okay, just keep breathing. Good. This time, squats. Legs nice and wide. Hands go forward as you go down. 30 seconds. Try and make sure your knees point towards your toes. Don't let your knees go inwards. Keep your back nice and straight, heels on the ground, no going up onto your tiptoes. 15 more seconds. Don't go, try and go too quick. Five seconds. One more. Great, well done. Okay, 30 seconds, running on the spot. Nice light start. Make sure you're on your toes. Get those arms going as well. 15 seconds gone. So keep nice and light those toes. Speed up a little bit if you like. Make sure you keep those arms going, keep your arms moving, keep your feet moving. Five seconds. And hold it. Star jumps this time, 30 seconds again. Ready, go. Keep going in and out, hands at the same time. Make sure you keep your arms quite straight, not fully straight. We don't want them down here though. Keep on your toes as always. Don't want to be flat footed doing this. 10 more seconds now. Okay, just keep breathing. Good. This time, squats. Legs nice and wide, hands go forward as you go down. 30 seconds. Try and make sure your knees point towards your toes. Don't let your knees go inwards. Keep your back nice and straight, heels on the ground, no going up onto your tiptoes. 15 more seconds. Don't go, try and go too quick. 
Five seconds. One more. Great, well done. Okay, so first balance. Two feet, arms out, Mr. T. We're going to do 30 seconds up on tiptoes. Off we go. So try and keep on those tiptoes. Keep your core tight, so contract your muscles in your stomach. Keep your arms out. It shouldn't be too difficult, but stay on those tiptoes. I'm trying not to look down, so if I look down, I might lose my balance. Keep up nice and straight. Arms out, try not to let them drop too low. Go off on those tiptoes. Don't let those heels drop. Keep them up nice and high. You're feeling your calf muscles. A few more seconds. Great, well done, back down. Balance, two feet. But instead, this time we're going hands up in the air, okay? Up on your tiptoes, hands up. Keep on those toes, but reach as high as you can this time. Not keeping them, your heels off, but toe on when the toes. Go really high, stretch your arms up to the ceiling. Contract those abdominal muscles in your stomach. Keep nice and tight. Do really well. That's it, five more seconds. You should feel this in your lower legs right now. The back of your lower legs, you should feel this. Three more seconds. Great, well done. Lower your heels down, lower your arms down. So, our standing stall position. This time I'm gonna go for level one, so the easier version. I'm gonna start my left leg. Your right leg's gonna go on your inner calf. So this is the lower level your arms out nice and wide. Let's bring your arms out, foot on your lower leg, contract your core muscles and hold for 30 seconds. Now keep hold of this position, looking forwards, arms out wide, try not to let your arms drop too low. You see what happened as soon as I drop my arms, I kind of lost my balance a bit. Don't have your foot on your knee, starting off with just your lower calf muscle there. Try and make sure your knee is pointing outwards, not forwards, you want to point out sideways. Five more seconds here. You can see I'm using my arms if I need to with the wind there to keep my balance. Great, put down. Second leg this time. So, this time, right leg, left foot on my calf, arms out. <clears throat> 30 seconds again. Remember, try and keep your knee pointing outwards. Quite often, you're going to want it to come forwards, keep it turned out. But keep your hips pointing forwards. Use those arms to help you balance halfway there, 15 seconds in. Doing really well. So keep those feet nice and tight. Try not to let your leg go out. Keep it on that calf. Shouldn't be too difficult. It's just on level one at the moment. We've got level two and three to come. Well done. Level two for our standing stalk. Bring your leg up to your inner thigh. Arms out. Keep that leg pointed to the side. Should be a little bit harder. Keep those arms out. Make sure you're looking forwards. Try not to look around the room. You might lose your balance. Make sure this foot is not on your knee, but nice and high. If you can't get up there, do on your lower calf. 10 more seconds. Keep those abdominal muscles contracted so you're helping to keep your balance. Very good, nearly there. Brilliant, well done. Okay, other side. Remind you every time, try and keep this knee pointing to the side. You can see it's following my arm out there. Don't let it come forwards. Contracting those core muscles. Keep them nice and tight. Looking forward as you go. 10 more seconds left. If you lose your balance, just use your arms to help you. Five seconds now. Make sure you keep breathing as well, keep relaxed. Well done. Okay, level three. Let's bring it up nice and high. Arms out, tiptoes. This will be harder. If you can go right high on your tiptoes, do that. If you just want to bring your heel off slightly, also fine. Already I can find this much harder. Keep it going. Seven or eight more seconds left. Definitely finding this harder, so hopefully you are as well. Oh, and then we down. Okay, right leg this time. 
Bring the foot up nice and high. Arms out, 30, sec 30 seconds, up on your tiptoes. For me, this leg is a bit harder. So my right leg's not as good as my left leg for balance. You see with this wind around as well, it's making it a little bit more challenging. Halfway there. Keep using those arms to help you balance. Seven seconds left. Can you keep that heel up for the whole 30 seconds? You can see I'm all over the place. Well done. Really good. Arabesque. So, starting my left leg here, right leg back, level one, arms out. Try to keep your standing leg still and straight. Flat foot. You might bend your knees slightly. It doesn't have to be locked out. You don't want to lock it right the way back. Try to keep your hips forwards not opening up to the side. There should be a line between my hip, knee, and all the way up to my head. So pull my toe all the way up should be one straight line. Okay, still on the other side. So I'm standing on my right leg this time. Left leg back, arms out, look forwards. 30 seconds we're going to try and do here. Now remember, don't lock your knee back, but do keep your hips forward. A slight bend in the knee is fine, but keep those hips forward, arms out. Halfway there, 15 seconds left. So try and make sure you've got a line between your toes, knee, hip, shoulder and head. It's all in one line. Five more seconds. That's it, really good. Your key still going? Very good. Back up, well done. Level two, we're going to go a bit further. So, instead of being nearly foot vertical, you're going to try and get more horizontal. You'll probably get further than me. 30 seconds. I struggle with the uh, flexibility of my hamstring and my balance. Try and keep your legs straight. So up, look forwards. Halfway there. Keep that core tight, hips forward, arms out. Five more seconds. Very good. Other side this time. So leg down, arms out. Lean forward gradually. See how low you can go, keeping your legs straight. Try and make sure you keep your hips forward. Halfway there, 15 seconds left now. Keep that focus, keep that arm strength, keep your balance as well. If the arm's getting tired, you can just give it a little rest. Back it up, five seconds left. Oh, I'm falling. Luckily we've done that 30 seconds. Well done everyone. So, we're going to start with our toe touches. Left hand, right hand, two hands. It looks like this. First, stand on one leg. Down, left, up. Right, up, two hands. Touch. We're going to do 30 seconds like this. Left hand, right hand, two hands. If you can, try to keep your left leg straight and make sure your right leg does not touch the ground. Ready? And go. Two hands. That's the left hand. Keep going up each time. Two hands again. Keep that balance, so don't rush it. Get one more in. Great, well done everyone. Now we're gonna to go to our right leg. Get your balance first. Stand on one leg, right hand first. Left hand. Both hands. 
right hand. Keep that balance. Both hands. Right. Left. Both hands. Nearly fell. Just managed to carry on. Okay, for this next activity, you're gonna need a ball, a sock, anything you can throw and catch. So go grab that right now. If you need to press pause, do that first. Now you've got your ball, put it on the floor. We're gonna stand on one leg and you're gonna do this. So just watch me first. Standing on one leg, pick your ball up, throw, catch, round your back, put it back down. Pick it up with your other hand, pick it up, throw, catch, round your back, put it back down. Do this for 30 seconds. Ready everyone? Pick it up, throw, catch, round and back, down. Stand back up. Throw, catch, round the back, put it back down. So, really working those hamstring muscles each time. Throw, catch, round the back, put it back down. Swapping your hands at each time, so we're working on our coordination as well. Train one more in. There we go. Now it's time to do that on your other leg. Ready? Pick it up. Throw, catch, round the back, down. Working those hamstrings each time. Throw, catch, round the back, back down. Oh, I nearly fell that time, just managed to keep it. Oh, I think I failed on that one because I moved my leg. But I haven't fallen over quite. So, give that a go. If you want to do that again, feel free. But I'm going to make it a little bit harder now. For those of you who want to challenge yourself, this is what you're going to do now. So, pick the ball up. Throw, clap, catch, put it back down. Then this time we can try two claps. Pick it up. Whoa. Two claps, back down. I'm sure you can guess what we're going to try this time. Pick it up. One, two, three, just, and still manage to keep my balance there as well. So really focusing on your balance here. Once you've done one, do two, then three. Let's see how far I can get in 30 seconds. Ready? Let's see how many claps I can get to, and I'm only got a low ceiling. Pick it up. One. Okay, and again. Two. Back down. Three, back down, four, back down, can I do five, oh, hit the ceiling so I didn't manage five, see if you can, okay now time to do our other leg, ready, and go. Do two. All the time holding that balance, keeping your arms out, using your legs to keep you stable. All the balls moved a bit, 34. Kind of. Oh, nearly falling over. One chance to get five. Oh, just four for me today.
Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and it gave you a little bit of a workout. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe because by doing that, it's gonna help me produce more videos to help you in your sporting journey. For now, I'll see you soon.